<laughs> Mr. Crazy Keto, Crazy Keto Chef, about to make some delicious, absolutely yummy keto. Well, I call them downtown everything keto. They're just flaxseed chips, flaxseed crackers. Matter of fact, uh, the ones I made that the reason why I'm doing this video is because I, I got a lot of comments and uh, likes and reactions from the ones I did with the locks. I called it downtown keto locks. Uh, but when I was a kid, uh, growing up in a Jewish family, uh, it was a, it was for us going to our family's house on Wednesdays and Sundays and high holidays because we were, you know, oxymoron of Jews. We were poor Jews. We couldn't have the delicacies all the time. And we had some of the other stuff, a lot of the other stuff actually. And like Persian spaghetti. Mom, that's my favorite. I love it still. I still love it. Anyways, um, we didn't, we couldn't have lox, bagels, and cream cheese all the time. I'll tell you a funny little thing. A lot of a lot of Jewish people love capers with it, or people just love capers with salmon, smoked salmon, lox, in other words. I can't stand capers. I don't know why, I just don't like them. Well, they're gross. But I do like lox with a lot, like a thick cream cheese on it, and a bagel, oh, an everything bagel, hence the everything flaxseed crackers with a cheese spread. And some locks to top it off. Maybe a little uh, purple onions. Huh? That's how we do it. So, let's get down to this. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's super easy. There's only a few ingredients. Matter of fact, this one was for another one. So, we're not even we're going to put that away. That's the rosemary. We're going to go ahead and make sure you have flaxseed. You have onion powder, garlic powder, everything. Bagel seasoning, which you can pick. This one was picked up at Walmart, Sam's. Uh, they also have it at Trader Joe's, uh, and then you're gonna, you may or may not want to use some Redmond's real salt or pink Himalayan salt or whatever salt you want. Uh, just be careful with it because this has a lot of salt in it, and I'm going to use this entire thing for one cup of flaxseed. Be right back. All right, back on top, guys. We're making the everything bagel flaxseed crackers, which work well with all sorts of dips and keto friendly, uh, low carb friendly uh, kind of cheeses. All you're gonna need really is gonna be a half of measuring cup, a half cup, a full cup, a tablespoon, a spoon to stir with, uh, maybe a fork to mix it up with, and um, some water, some filtered water, that's it. There was one thing that I might add, guys, I haven't decided quite yet, I'm gonna add it to this one but maybe some cayenne pepper if you like a little spice, okay? So we're gonna take our flax seeds, okay? And we're gonna start first. What you need to know, the most important thing you need to know about this recipe is you're gonna use two parts flax seed, so that's why we have the cup, and we're gonna use one part water, a half a cup, and then the tablespoon is gonna be for all the other ingredients, okay? So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and first, I just eyeball this, guys. I'm gonna use uh, organic virgin olive oil, okay? Or you can use avocado oil. You can use any kind of oil, really. Uh, but I choose to use this. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is just put a little bit, like maybe maybe a tea tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon. Yeah, a little bit more than a tablespoon, but you don't need much. It's not, it's, it's not imperative to this recipe. I'm gonna add a little, the rest of the way, I'm gonna fill it up with water, okay? So it's coming out just so it's okay. All right, okay. And then what that's gonna do, it's gonna bind it, and it's gonna soak in this. So guys, this is just, that's all you need this half cup for. After that, you can put it in the sink. The one cup. We'll go ahead and take our flax seeds now. And if it gets a little, uh, you know, if a few fall in there, it's not a big deal, guys, because you'll see, it's, this is such an easy recipe to make. I mean, seriously, it's super easy. Pour that in there, okay? We're gonna take our 
everything bagel seasoning there's only one size i think it's a 2.6 ounce 74 grams now just remember make sure if you're measuring your macros if you're on a keto diet or low carb you're measuring anything make sure you remember this has got 74 grams and i used the I use, and I just pour it right in, and I use the uh, Carb Manager app. Now, I pay for the premium. It's like 14 bucks, I think, for three months. But you can use the free one. It works just as well. It tracks all your macros. You can, I can even scan this barcode, and it will pull it up for me. Or you can save it in your favorites, your foods. Real simple. And they, this, this is nothing more than organic golden flaxseed. Uh, Trader Joe's sells it. Whole Foods sells it. If you're lucky, I, this is the last Whole Foods had when I was there. And then um, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of, because there's a lot of salt in this mix, in this actual, um, in the everything bagel, we're gonna go ahead and uh, not add salt to this mix. I made a salty one and those were a little bit too salty. I like salt, but they're a little bit too salty. Psyllium husk, guys. This is fiber, fiber powder, psyllium powder, okay? And what this does is it thickens it up it binds it as well. You don't have to use this. Uh, the original one I made what, didn't use this, but I'm gonna use about a half a, a, a tablespoon. I'm gonna use about a half a tablespoon. Okay, pour it right on top. And then I'm gonna show you guys, you're gonna think this is crazy, but I'm gonna use quite a bit of uh, onion powder. And I just, guys, I, I buy the onion and, and garlic powder at uh, Sam's for, you know, bulk. So I put it I, I put it in these little tiny, uh, best choice, but they're organic. So we're gonna use one. And we're gonna use two, two onion powders. Now it's not gonna be overpowering, guys, because what you don't, if you haven't made any flaxseed anything before, what you're gonna learn is that flaxseed and any kind of seeds that are not salted, they're raw, you got, um, Everything raw, like you got pumpkin seeds you can use, sunflower seeds, that's a good one, um, sesame seeds, you know, you can use all that in the mixture, that's a lot of what's in here, and then flax seeds, of course, and so I add a lot of this stuff because I love the flavor of it, and it doesn't do anything to your macros, it doesn't, I mean, listen, if you're on a keto diet, there's nowhere in any keto book that says you can't enjoy what you eat, so I enjoy what I eat, guys. That's how I've lost 55 pounds in 47 days. So, I'm at number three right now, right? I'm gonna put four in here. There's four, that's garlic powder. I know it sounds crazy, but let me tell you, it's delicious. And the only thing, the only reason I, I put, uh, actually no salt is because last time I did put some salt in it, it just kind of, it wasn't, it was too much. So now all we're gonna do is you're gonna mix this together. Get the water, oil in there, and you may add a little bit more water, but you really wanted a thick consistency. So remember I said it's one part water and two parts seeds. So if you can see this, you're just gonna mix it all together. And that's smelling wonderful right now. And you know, you could even um, use some fresh garlic, uh, you could grate some, some garlic, you could grate some onion, you could actually, I would use dried, but never. But you could put actual um, onion, if you minced it up, or minced the garlic and you wanna mix it into this, you could, but I think garlic powder does the same thing, so we're good with that. Now what you wanna make sure, guys and girls, and ladies, uh, is that you wanna make sure you mix this up real well, real, real well, because what happens is that from the water and the oil and the seasoning and all that powder, I'm gonna add a little splash of water. We're gonna put this in the fridge and it's gonna go in the fridge for 12 to 18 hours, guys. And I would say 18, because I've done 12, 18, and 24, and there's no difference between the 18 and 24, but there was the 12, so. We're just gonna mix this, and so this is why I have the fork, because you can really get it in between the seeds. And you wanna get that seasoning in there. And guys, and, 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 and family, this is it. <laughs> this is literally it. The next thing would be to put it in the fridge. I'm gonna put it with a lid, with a Rubbermaid lid. It's got this little 
vent in it. Um, I've never tried it with it closed, but I have tried it with this open and it works out fine. But you can also, hey, it's not that serious. You can use any kind of bowl. You can use a metal, use porcelain, glass, whatever. Um, and it won't, plastic, it doesn't make a difference. As long as it goes in the fridge, covered, and you can cover it with a paper towel even. That's not the, the, the main, de the main point is not the cover, um, is not the cover of it, but you, but actually putting something over it in the first place, okay? All right, guys, back on top. So it's been 18 hours since the, uh, since we put the flaxseed mix inside of the fridge. And now it is a thick paste, I would assume. It's got a paste kind of thing, so we'll open that up. Yep, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see, you're gonna see that I'm gonna stir this up. So you're gonna need for this step, you're gonna need a pan to go in the oven. You're gonna preheat your oven for 300 degrees or 325, depending on how thick you make it. You're gonna, the easy way to do this, guys, you're gonna want a, 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 some parchment or baking sheet paper that you can put in the lining of this. What I do is I flip it over like so and put the paper and cut around. That's it. So then it fits. So you're gonna need two of those. You're gonna take one and it doesn't matter which way you put it, up or down. Um, you're gonna put that in there, okay? You're also going to need a spatula of some sort or you can use, it doesn't matter how big or small, the bigger ones are easier um, if you're spreading on a bigger sheet. You're gonna need some sort of spatula. And again, with a fork to store, stir the mix of the seed. So now it's gonna be a lot heavier. It's gonna be a lot, the word I was looking for previously was hardy. It's gonna be a lot more hardy now with all the things that we put into it. As you can see, it's it's holding its shape better. Okay. It should almost feel like at this point, guys, um, like rice that's been cooked and refrigerated. Uh, it should be that kind of consistency, okay? Oh, you're also gonna need something to roll it with. I'm gonna use just a, something even on both edges. This is even, it's a cup. It's a heavier plastic cup. So I'm gonna use that to roll it out. And what we're gonna do with this now is we're gonna take this mix and just kind of scoop it on there. And we're gonna flatten it out first with a little bit with the spatula. And then we'll come back and roll it. One thing, guys, is that you don't, you shouldn't have to do is grease the pan. You don't really want to on the edges, even. It will stick to it if you get it on the edges, uh, and it, can, it depending on how long you bake it, it can get pretty, uh, pretty hard on there. So just make sure you realize that when you're rolling it out, you want to get, you want to roll it evenly, so it cooks evenly. That's the key to this. Because I like mine a little bit thicker, I'm gonna go ahead and use the entire mix on this pan. This pan is about, let's say about a nine by 12, nine by 13-ish. So once you have it all in there, you kinda wanna get it to even distribution. And you can come back around and trim the edges. I think this time, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score this with a pizza cutter. Uh, not cut through it, but I'm gonna score it and see if that helps me get the effect that I'm looking for in the cracker sizes so that I can measure my macros more effectively. Uh, and what I'm gonna do at the end of this is I'm gonna weigh this entire pan with the parchment in it, or excuse me, with the parchment in it, in the pan without the seeds, because then I know how much, how many grams the entire thing weighs. And then you can divide that by as many as you cut or break off into and kind of get a rough estimate that way. I wanna do it by scoring because uh, I want to be exact with my measurements because of where I'm at in my journey. If, you know, if you move it around and there's too much, it comes, I'm making this now. The, um, I'm really kind of getting the work done for the rolling uh, before I roll it because I want to make sure I can get it as even as possible. You don't have to do that, guys. You can do, um, you don't have to spread it out the way I did. Now, it's going to stick a little bit to the side, so I'm going to come around here like this kind of just edge the sides back down when I'm all done. See, that's what I'm gonna do. And it's kind of premature because you're gonna to wanna to do that after you, after you roll it out. Like I said, guys, I'm trying to get as 
close to even for me as possible so it takes less of that because I don't have a rolling pin and if I did it wouldn't fit in this anyways I don't think you might be able to get one this small but now what I'm going to do is and if you can guys if you can keep your parchment paper on it in your oven I happen to be using a uh, my air fryer which is also a bake and broil and, and uh, air fry all together so I'm going to do that but the fan in it I'll pull, sucks this up but if you can bake it with this on do it it turns out a different way and not really that much different but it, it does turn out better so here's what I'm doing all I'm doing now is I'm just going to roll it out get make sure that everything's even and then I'm going to come back around and I'm going to take the edges down Trust me guys, you'd rather have it, the edges clean now and a little bit rough than you would have the stuff stick on it and clean it off because trust me, I've tried that and it's not fun. I will say that because I'm going to do another one with the uh, rosemary and garlic. That looks pretty even to me. Pretty good. Now that's a thick consistency, okay folks? This is definitely thicker. So I'm gonna put this at 325, maybe even 350. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and go in half first. Right down the middle. What I'm gonna kind of do is just go in fours and then break it down from there. And remember, there's a lot, this is very uh, caloric dense. It means there's a lot of calories in it. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is if it's thicker, you wanna make sure that you get it into smaller sections. Okay. You want to make sure you get it into smaller sections because then you don't have to worry about your carbs building up or your protein or your calories on you with just, you know, five of these, right? Or four of these or three of these. And that way you can really enjoy it because these are delicious. These are absolutely amazing. So now I've got split into fours. Each, 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 fourth, each quarter that I split already, I split again. I'm going all the way almost to the edges as far as this is because this is a rounded um, this thing is rounded so but that's good because then what's going to happen is um, you know you can use anything you can use the back of a butter knife to score it which I think I'm going to try here uh, you can use a pizza cutter which I was going to use but that might cut all the way through and the object the point of this is just to basically make it so that you can break it into even sections when it comes out and it's fully rested and it's cooled off, that's pretty much even. So you've got now, what we'll end up doing is you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times four. You've got 32 uh, individual pieces. We're gonna go ahead and put this in now, you see? Individual sections. And they're about, I wanna say probably about a quarter inch thick again. And so what I'm gonna do is now that the, the it's on 325, and I'm gonna put it in there for check back in about 40 minutes. So it cooled off, we took the, the everything bagel flax crackers out of the oven. They're nice and scored. I'm gonna get into that in a second. But here's what we used, just to recap. We used two tablespoons of organic extra virgin olive oil. We used an entire uh, 74 grams, which is, ends up being 23 and a quarter teaspoons. Um, that's the equation that comes up in the card manager app that I could come up with for you. We use two tablespoons of onion powder, though this, I, I threw away the bottle like this. It's, a, it's an organic granulated uh, powder, onion powder. This is the garlic that we use. We use four tablespoons of this, two tablespoons of this onion powder, and a cup of the flax seeds. And it's a one, two, three, four, five ingredient done. So here we are. Let's go ahead and lift this up now. I weighed it out, by the way. So each one of these squares, there's 32 squares. Each one of these squares is gonna weigh approximately, roughly about nine grams, 9.3, probably that. It breaks perfectly along the score. So that's a good call. It actually worked out really well to break these apart, guys. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up eight of these when I'm done. And um, yeah, just break it backwards from when you, where you scored it. And uh, that's it. See, see how thick that is, guys? That's gonna be uh, you know, half the thickness of my finger. 
Um, yeah, actually about the thickness, actually about three, it's about the thickness of your finger almost. I got big hands, so. But these are gonna break apart into the different squares that we made. So it just breaks apart just like that. We got candy bar almost. That you get at the store, right? And if you go nice and slow, like I'm not, I wasn't doing, uh, you're patient with it. It's not that hard, but what you're gonna do is it's gonna end up falling, they'll break apart. If they're nice and crispy, they'll break apart. These are a little overdone, but I'm not gonna sweat it. Because of what I'm gonna do next is put the uh, roasted garlic and shallots and green onion and chives, uh, three cheese uh, cream. I'm gonna put that on top of those and we're gonna come back on top after I do that and show you guys the macros for however many we put together with salmon. The picture I showed you guys, I'm gonna create that right here on a time lapse and let you guys see how I do it. And we'll come back with the macros. What's up, Keto fam? Back on top, here it is. We got the everything, well, really, the downtown Keto Locks. That's your everything bagel, right? Everything bagel Keto uh, flaxseed crackers. Some smoked salmon on top. Two ounces of smoked salmon, six crackers. About 60 grams of the crackers. And uh, my own special cream cheese. Um, there is 60 grams of that, and I'm gonna look right now and see what that equals out to. So what it looks like for this meal, there's four grams of net carbs. Uh, it's got 577 calories for this whole meal. Um, and then you've got 3.8, sorry, net, net carbs. 12 grams of fiber, two grams um, out of the 16 total carbs. 12.2 grams of fiber, 2.1 grams of sugar, uh, protein is 30 grams, fat is 43 grams, monounsaturated is 3.9, polyunsaturated is 14.9, uh, saturated fat is 12.6, or 12.8 rather, sorry. And so yeah, you're looking at here guys is a, a pretty decent, decent size helping. But what I would suggest guys, is if you're interested, I use Carb Manager. Uh, I think you can look up the meals or just message or post something and just say, hey, can you share that with me, that, that meal? Um, and that way you can figure it out from there as well if you don't use Card Manager. If you do, it's under um, it's under Downtown Keto Locks, L-O-X, uh, and dash Mr. Crazy Keto. You should find it under that. So thank you for guys for checking it out. I know it was long, but I'm very thorough, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think, all right? God bless you guys. Mr. Ke Crazy Keto. Keep it a keto friendly, right? Clean keto. Um, keep it a keto strong. Oh, happen, baby! 90 day beast. Check it out. Look at that. You know what that is? That's 40 pounds. 40 pounds. And today is day 30. It's not even over. 40 pounds. Coming strong. Keto strong on my 90 pound goal. <laughs> I did it! 40 pounds in 30 days! Love you guys. I'm stoked. I'm so, so excited. I would show you, you know, how the transformation looks, but I'm walking around without any underwear on. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not. <laughs> gotcha.